Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on what I think is one of the greatest styling uh, events that went on at Studebaker or in the sports car world ever, right? When you look at these cars, you know right away, this is a Studebaker. There's no way to, to, to think that this might be a Chevrolet Vega or a Nova or a Mopar or whatever. This is an Avanti. And this right too is an Avanti R2, right? What does an R2 mean? Well, for many of you, you may know that. For some of us, we do not know that. And so let's walk down the road of the R2 and tell us what that gives us. This gives us, right, a factory supercharged car. He said, Tone, come on, really? Factory supercharged? Oh, yeah. If you don't believe me, ask me, all right? Factory supercharged. And then, of course, what does that mean? Well, what that means is power. And if you've got a car like this, you want power. But you don't want to be wheeling down the road in like a four cylinder or a five cylinder or a six cylinder with style like this, okay? And throw in no power. You don't want that. You just don't want that. You got to have power. This car has power and it sounds great too. Supercharger wine is just a tiny little bit of wine, which is just perfect, right? That great sounding dual exhaust and very detailed throughout this car. Very original, very detailed, very take it to a show. People have never seen anything like this. This is a crowd gatherer. I'm going to walk you through some of what's on the car today. You've seen it in the pictures, but I like to look at it in the video too so we can see the real quality. Let's see what uh, it looks Looks like under the lights here, not manipulated by photos that some people might do uh, out there. Ask them to do a video for you if you're really interested in a car and you'll see what you're getting. All right, so we wanted to talk about a couple of things right now. We want to talk about styling and we also want to talk about paint quality because paint quality is an expensive part of the car. And right, we talked about earlier before that uh, we have seen others out there manipulate pictures online. The video helps us tell us what we really do have. All right, so let's talk about this, the Magnum 500s and the Redline radials. So you have your choice. You can go to the original style uh, hubcaps that would have come on the car or these as well. These are radials too, which makes a big difference. Back then, there was no radial tire, hadn't been invented yet, right? And this right here shows us that uh, while it looks good, it will now drive well, too, because a radial tire, one of the best inventions ever. Secondly, like new stainless, new gaskets here, the way the headlight covers, right? You see, people say to me all the time, Tone, that's a great looking car, but we don't really know why it's a great looking car. Let's talk about that, for instance. Let's talk about the styling. This leading edge right here with the turn signal inside this tiny piece, Back to the covers that I told you about, the way this bumper, this is a uh, three-piece bumper, right, to make all the curves and everything work. This styling piece here on the hood, beautifully done. Uh, the windshield wipers even look good. We know that uh, we've got a high-performance car here because we have uh, something different about the hood that looks different in general, right? This doesn't look like your ordinary sedan hood. So lastly, let's talk about the quality of the paint because you want to be able to read all of the letters in there. And sure enough, we can see all that. Look at the beams in the ceiling. Look at the lighting in the ceiling. You can see all that. And not only do we do it right there, sometimes we can do it here too and see just how beautiful it really is. And I'm going to ask Cameron to come on over and do one more shot here because it's good to look the whole car over. Beautifully done. All right, so I like to look under the hood because if you want, listen, the truth of the matter is many people who buy a car like this want just to cruise in it. They want to go out with another couple to dinner, enjoy it with the kids, do something fun, go to work, whatever, and they don't really, they're not really showing the car. But if you did want to show the car or if you have friends and stuff coming over, this is nice because it's beautifully detailed underneath here, okay? So for instance, let's look here, factory chrome valve covers, right? Uh, the factory chrome breather unit. This supercharger. We've just ordered the decals for this, so we'll update the pictures once the decals arrive here. But it's nicely detailed. Look at this original style alternator that's on there. This is really good looking. Wow, there's a lot of great stuff. Overflow tank, um, and again, supercharged, ventilation, everything in place the way it's supposed to be. 
and this car goes down the road really nicely. This is the finishing touches that, that Avanti gets over many other cars. For instance, like the ignition shielding. This is all a la Corvette, and I'll show you why in a second when I say that. Ignition shielding here chrome pieces for opening the hood here. Even the wiper motor has been chromed, okay? The chrome shield here for the air breather, uh, for the supercharger, chrome valve covers. These are all signs of a luxury car and detailed inside here is why uh, it's so nice to be able to go to a car show and see that. Original fender tags are still in here, showing the VIN numbers, things like that, right? And you'd be proud to open the hood if you decide to. All right, sorry, I got distracted. Let me get back in the game for a minute. All right, styling back here. You saw the pictures. Look at the three-quarter shot. Look at some of the detail. This right here, a little ahead of its time, wrapping around, many cars don't do that, wrapping around the quarter panel, right? Reverse lights put up here outside of that to add more luxury to the back of the car. Love that emblem man, Studebaker. Beautiful piece of glass back here and it's wrapped like this where most every other car in the world has a flat piece of glass there because it was a lot less expensive back then to do that. This is curved glass. The back shelf here is beautiful. It's just, you need to spend some time on this car and see the detail and things like that that are into it. For instance, a full carpeted trunk Cars don't come like that unless they are luxury sports cars, right? In here, full-size spare tire, all in there as well. This is just a beautiful touch, chrome and stainless, the dual exhaust is back here, and just looks, uh, just looks, I don't know, man. I get excited about this stuff because I look at a lot of cars every day, and a lot of cars are cool, and they are all cool, but some cars just make cool a whole nother level. All right, so you walk up to this car and you say, you know what, this is a great looking car, but you know it's yours and that's fine, that's okay. Everybody else gets to see it from the outside. You get to check it out from the inside. And where these cars shine more than any other car is inside. The cockpit of these is level 10 above so many others. Let's get in and check that out and I'll show you what I mean. First off, look how much room is back here, right? You can actually, I'm 6'1", 6'1", right? And I got room here, I got room in the back, I got package room, I got all that stuff. Amazing, right? Sorry, I get excited because most cars you can't sit in the back of. All right. All right, what do we got? We got some really nice bucket seats. We got a console. These controls are butter smooth, the way they split the vents, temperature vents, defroster, heater, those kinds of things. Original stereo right here. Here up top, kind of very much airplane uh, gauges showing you headlights, dash lights, all that stuff. And this was an aggressive car, man. It has a 160 Speedo from the factory, right? A 160 Speedo from the factory and a 6,000 RPM tech. 1963, this is 2023 that we're doing this video, right? 60 years ago, this right here would have been, uh, this would have been world record holding kind of things. Again, a performance car and a luxury car all wrapped in the same. This headliner, beautifully done. It's not this just a plain old headliner, this piece of trim that's added here. That's why when you get in a car, people say, wow, that's a beautiful interior, but people don't give it a second to see what went into that. For instance, look at this dash versus the plain old dash of every other car, okay? All right, this is a super nice touch right here. Let's just say that Steele wanted to go for a ride with me. We're cruising around. Also, we hide a, an original, uh, not original, nah, backwards. Original stereo is here, nice, right? But we hide a modern digital sound system in here, keeping the dash kind of stock if you want to. And then if Steele said, hey, are we gonna go uh, meet some girls or whatever? I say, well, if you wanna go, then that's fine. Let's make sure that you look good. Jewelry tray, makeup tray, mirror right there. That's a nice touch, man. No cars have this. This is, this is level 10 of luxury and why I like it so much. 
All right, so I want to close up the video with, with what I call like a luxury performance car, right? Like the GTO, bigger car, performance oriented. These were as well. However, these were way ahead of their time, man. We're talking about supercharged engines. We're talking about styling like no other car has. No other car looks like this. The interior was super, super nice, right? A lot of luxury touches inside there. This is one of 1,552 supercharger models built. How many are left, man? couple hundred, right? A couple hundred, 60 years later, right? And I think about the assembly line people, Amber and I were talking about that just a second ago. If they were 20 years old on the assembly line, they're 80 something years old now. That's a long time, man, it's a long time. Anyway, luxury stuff, disc brakes, power steering, bucket seats, 160 mile an hour speedometer, beautifully carpeted trunk, it goes on and on, detailed undercarriage. This is a great car to enjoy on a Friday, drive to work, call whoever it is that you're on the way home after work, right? Say, listen, I'll see you in a little bit. Shut the feed off, man, right? Get rid of the boss feed, the email feed, the Twitter feed, Facebook, every feed that's coming at you, all the noise, right? Turn on some music and go for a drive, man. It is a game changer. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Avante R2, all right? And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. Helps us get the message out, and I appreciate that a lot. Subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And uh, share it with your friends. You never know. They might see something they like as well. See you on the next one.